Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to talk about the mandatory pages that are created with the WP eMember plugin. Now, as soon as you activate the plugin, three pages are created. Um, there's the login page, the registration page, and the join us page. And the plugin will, also, will automatically store the URLs to those pages that get created automatically. Well, in the event that something happens and they don't get created or they get removed, then there's expl explanations on the screen here to show you how to recreate them. And to get to this screen, of course, you have to have WP eMember installed. You go to the settings menu, and then you go to pages, forms, settings. And then you'll see that there's three pages that get created. Um, you go to your pages, all pages. There's the join us, registration, and the member login. Now here's an example of the member login page. Uh, it's automatically created, everything's set up. Here's a registration page example where the user just fills in their username, password, email, etc. And then there's an example of a join us page, which is essentially you can do you can explain the features of each of the membership levels and provide buttons for people to join. Okay, so now in the event that these didn't get created to begin with or they're removed by accident, whatever the case may be, what you can do, it explains here how to set them up. So you can create a new login page by putting in this short code. And as you'll see here, the member login page, if we edit it, that's all it really has is this short code in there. So if this were to be, were to be deleted, for example, let's move it to trash. set page no longer exists okay but since that's a required page for the plugin to work we're gonna have to recreate it so we just click on add new we call it whatever we want and then we have to make sure that short code is in place and we click on publish Okay, once it's published, we can hover over view page to get the URL. You see it at the bottom left of the screen. We can right click, copy link address, and then we can go back to the set WPE member settings page. And again, under page form settings, and then we can just paste that URL in there so that the, the plugin, the plugin has to make reference to this login page in more than one place. So it needs to know the URL to the page. And of course it's handier when it creates it automatically, but Again, in the event that it gets destroyed or you need to recreate it for whatever reason, then after recreation by putting it in the short code, you have to tell the plugin the actual URL to the page. And then you scroll to the bottom and then click on update options. Now the same goes for the registration page. Um, you simply create a new page if necessary, put in this short code, and that will generate a page similar to this. And then after you create the page, you just paste in the new URL into this box here. And the only page that needs any work um, out of the gate is the join us page. And of course, if you recreate it, you'll have to put in the new URL in here as well. And essentially what you're doing on this page is describing the different options. And of course, those options couldn't be created beforehand because there's no way of knowing what membership levels you wanna add and what they're gonna be called and what the features are of each of those membership levels. So you have this page here set up in order to explain all that. All right, and that's really it um, for the three mandatory pages, the login page, registration page, and the join page. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Have a great night.